Hello, our citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Torrance, California. Thank you for joining today for this fifth segment of our eight brocade sessions. Uh, today, we are going to do the, the flow called sway the head and shake the tail. Really a mouthful, but this is really good for helping us to open our hearts, our kidneys. It helps us to release a lot of heat. It helps us to promote sleep. So if we're having trouble with sleep, this is a good one for you. Um, a brocades are often used in medical Qigong, and it's a very ancient form of Qigong. It's a very popular version. So let's start our practice today for this flow. Bring your feet about shoulder width apart and gently start to bounce your knees. Grab the earth, bounce the knees. We want to start to activate the energy in our body so we have something to work with. So feel the tension ah, in the body start to melt away. Bounce the knees a little more, hips a little bit more. Exaggerate your shoulders a little bit more. You can turn your head. Breathe out your mouth. Your body may twist, your body may sway. So where you feel uncomfortable, focus there. Put your mind there and shake there a little bit more. You can breathe out through your mouth to release that stress and tension. So this kind of a gentle vibration helps to bring your mind to your body. Helps you to really assess your condition so that we can then change our condition. Shake out the head, shake out the shoulders, shake out the hips. Where's your tension today? Shake it out. Jump and slowly stop. Feel a gentle buzzing and tingling. Good. And now we're going to come to our zero point. So bring your feet very close together, almost touching. Good. And then sink into your feet. A little bend in the knees, a little tuck of the tailbone, a little lift of the stern. Reach the crown for the sky. Let the arms hang. Good. As the bones stack, they start to float. Your muscles start to relax. So feel that condition of your body. Take a deep breath in. Feel your body let it expand. And as you exhale, release. So in our zero point, we want to be able to assess our condition. Where do we feel good? Where do we not feel so good? Do we feel centered, grounded? How do we feel? We're going to come back to this at the end to see how well we've done our practice. Good. Breathe in, expanding. And out. Breathe in fully. Exhale, letting go. Good. We're going to shift our weight onto our left foot. I'm going to mirror for you, so... Uh, you can follow me comfortably. Move your right foot out. We're going to come into a wider horse stance for this posture. So when we come into this horse stance, we want to push our knees out wider. We want to press the earth with our feet. Feel a strength and power. Now, depending on your condition, you might sink very low or you might need to stay a little taller. You assess your condition and you find that place that's challenging but doable. Push the knees, tuck the tailbone, lengthen through the spine. Good. For this posture, sway the tail and shake the head. We're going to bring our hands to our knees here. So keep a little heart up. Good. So I suggest that you watch me the first flow because you're going to drop your head. So you won't be able to see me. So it'll be a little silly to try to follow. So as you inhale, you will turn your body over to the right side, looking as far as you can, keeping a very long spine twisting. You can even look over your shoulder a little bit. If you want more intensity, you can press with that left arm to make you twist a little bit more. When it's time to exhale, you're going to fold forward towards the wall you're facing, dropping your head as low as you can. If you can't go very low, don't go very low. Go as best you can. When you get down to the bottom here, like six o'clock on the clock, that's where you'll start to inhale and you're going to rise up to the other side. Now looking over your left shoulder, long spine, turn the head. You can press the right arm to get a little extra push. So we're going to follow that flow back and forth. So if you're ready, you can join me here on the left side. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to flow down, folding forward, coming down to the bottom, six o'clock, dead center. Then you start to inhale and rising up to the right.
as you exhale, folding back down. So for this flow, I want you to follow your breath. As you inhale, you're rising up and twisting. As you exhale, you're falling back down towards the center. Very controlled through your body. The legs may start to tremble. Building that strength in the lower body. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. If you start to feel a lot of fogginess in your head or catching your head, don't drop your crown so much. Keep your chin up and look at the floor. As you exhale, coming down. Exhale down. So the turning of the head and the neck, the whole spine, as your head goes one way, your tailbone goes the other. So you find that level of intensity, of depth, of power that's accessible for you today. Exhale down. Inhale up. We're gonna go one more time to each side. Exhaling down. Enjoy the burning in your legs. The opening of your back. Exhale down. Inhale up. Good. So as we're going to wrap up, as you exhale, come back down to six o'clock. Let your head hang down in front of you or as best you can. And this inhale, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Lots of heat feeling. And now we're going to wrap up with a gentle inhale, bringing you back to your zero point. Exhaling down. Stack those bones, bend, tuck, lift. Arms float. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. And breathe in, expanding. Exhale, contracting. How is your new zero point? Warmer, more vibration, fatigue. Any change shows that the energy is working, moving. Keep pressing the feet into the earth, reaching the crown for the sky. Enjoy the sway. The strength in the legs, the lightness in the body. Take a deep breath in. And out. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Ah, feel the sensation of your hands, the warmth, the smoothness, and then go and sweep off your body. Now those legs might be a little heavy. You might want to tap them a little bit, shake them a little bit. Let out any of that ah, stress and tension. Good. So thank you for joining me for this fifth uh, flow for the eight brocades. Please keep an eye out for the other seven flows and the final full flow uh, for your enjoyment and for your improved health. If you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education based class, please contact a local body and brain center near you. If you don't have a local body and brain center, please look into our online memberships through Brain Education TV. Thank you.